A letter carrier attacked while making his rounds. This happened in a Gardena neighborhood where people say they know this suspect all too well. Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero spoke with some of those neighbors and the mail carrier. She joins us live with the story. Christian. Mark, the attack happened right behind me, and you know, neighbors here are really upset. They've increased security in this neighborhood to try and catch this guy after what he did to someone who they say is very much part of their community. Bruce Jennings has walked up and down these streets thousands of times in his 20 plus years working for the U.S. Postal Service and says he's never had to break stride like this. He and a man in a gray sweatsuit exchanged words before a fake punch and then a real one. End up dropping the mail and so at that point it was defense mode for me. This happened on February 21st. Bruce says the man was upset that he didn't have a package for him, that he was asking for it to be delivered to a vacant home where he was allegedly squatting. In the street, the two circle each other. The man reaches in his pocket before throwing more punches that took Bruce to the ground. Prior to that, as I was approaching him, he is telling me he can do me foul. I don't know what that means, so. You've seen this person around the neighborhood before? Yes. The entire community knows about this guy, it knows him by his first and last name, John Ross. The John Ross he's referring to has a decades long criminal history that most recently includes assault with a deadly weapon and burglary. He was arrested last week for breaking into another home and is still in custody. Neighbors want to keep it that way. They don't feel safe with the thought of him coming back and they hate thinking about what happened to Bruce. He's the first one that greets you when you move here. We all came together because Bruce is someone that, you know, he's he goes above and beyond the call of duty with his job. He's he's just a guy you hate to see this happen to. Bruce says he's OK physically and mentally. He appreciates the neighborhood's support and will carry on in the meantime. Just waiting for word from the postal inspector to see how they're going to pursue this matter. How would you like them to pursue this matter? Uh, to the fullest extent of the federal law, whatever that may be. And he has filed a police report with the LAPD who is investigating. We also spoke separately with the USPS Inspection Services. They said that they recently presented a case for prosecution to the U.S. Attorney's Office. Assaulting a federal officer is a felony. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.